he said, you better let me in because she's my wife. And if you don't, I'm going to kill you and I'm going to kill everybody in the house. Everyone wants to be famous, but sometimes fame is a double-edged sword. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 alleged real-life celebrity stalkers. She testified that Sue's behavior gave her nightmares that she might be sexually assaulted. The judge said Sue should have remained in that facility until he recovered. For this list, we're looking at reported stalkers who were in love with or obsessed with a celebrity for an extended period of time, and demonstrated this by sending him or her mail, trying to contact or follow him or her, etc. And I was scared for her from Nigel. Wait till you wait till you see this next girl. Oh my God, she changed her name for you. She's all. And I saw the name. I got really nervous. We won't include people who just straight up plan to murder a celebrity, though. I took five steps toward the street, turned, withdrew my Charter Arms 38, and fired five shots into his back. Note that we are not condoning any of this behavior with this list, but merely reporting on it. Someone goes to a hotel to sleep. We trust that the hotel will protect us from harm. Number 10, Jack Jordan, victim Uma Thurman. Do you still love Uma Thurman? Said, don't touch me with your microphone. I didn't touch you with a microphone. Jack Jordan's obsession started with the 1988 film The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, in which Thurman plays the goddess Venus. Allow me to say that you excel in beauty, even the magnificent Catherine the Great of Russia. Here we go. Whose hand in marriage I once had the honor of declining. This means that his obsession had been brewing for a long time before he first tried to contact the actress in 2005. In the following years, he not only reportedly sent her disturbing letters and pictures, but also repeatedly came to the apartment where she lived. I was completely freaked out. I said, oh my God, it was scary, it's like a nightmare. According to Jordan, he thought he was pursuing a perfectly legal way of trying to meet and marry her, but she did not think it was romantic. He was sentenced to three years probation in 2008, but was arrested again in 2010 after he allegedly violated the terms of his restraining order for trying to contact Thurman. I, I think that he should go to jail and appreciate that there are actually consequences to the emotional impact on Uma Thurman, even if he says, well, all I did was call her. Number nine, Dante Michael Soyu, victim Gwyneth Paltrow. The actress choked up talking about how she's scared for her two children. Gwyneth Paltrow's stalker was not only insanely creepy, but also terribly persistent. Dante Michael Soyu allegedly stalked the actress for 17 years, and during this time, he sometimes reportedly sent her five letters a day, not to mention a cookbook, jewelry, clothing, boxes of pornography, and a sexy toy that had Because I Love You written on the side. He even tracked down her parents and went to their house. Even scarier, he allegedly wanted to use God's scalpel to, quote, cut the sin out of her. Is it safe? Yeah, it should be fine. It's like operation. In 2001, he was declared legally insane, but that didn't stop him. In 2009, he started writing to her again, leading to yet another trial. In 2016, Soyu was found not guilty in court. Number 8. Michael David Barrett, victim Aaron Andrews. Everybody put up that I was doing it for publicity and attention and that ripped me apart. Aaron Andrews is a sportscaster and television personality who hosts Dancing with the Stars and Fox College Football. In 2008, when she worked for ESPN, a man named Michael David Barrett started following her across the country, staying in the same hotels as her, and taking videos of her through altered peepholes in the doors of her rooms, including videos of her in the nude. I do know that I am a victim of a stalker because we know that this happened in at least two rooms. In 2009, one of the videos was famously posted online, but at least something good came of this crime. 
Andrews was able to help promote proposed federal anti-stalker legislation, while Barrett was sentenced to two years in prison. I, I want to thank everybody. There were so many people that actually reached out and all over the world, really, and you were did. so supportive. It is supportive. nice that something horrible like that, you get to see the nice part of the yeah. internet. Number seven, Margaret Mary Ray, victim David Letterman. I would like to be able to get out and have a hot meal at the table and a pot of tea before dusk. Margaret Mary Ray was first arrested after failing to pay the Lincoln Tunnel toll while she was driving talk show host David Letterman's car, which she had stolen from his driveway. She also claimed that she was his wife and that her three-year-old son was his child. Over the next few years, she repeatedly broke into his home, insisting that he was her husband. All right, good, that's my house. Dave generally treated it like a joke on TV, but he also expressed deep compassion for the woman. He even refused to press charges, though she did spend time in both prison and mental institutions. Sadly, she eventually committed suicide. Number six, Ricardo Lopez, victim Bjork. Ricardo Lopez's obsession began innocently enough. He started sending Bjork fan letters and writing about her in his written diary, citing her as his artistic muse. Nonetheless, uh, this is being sent off tomorrow, probably. Well, actually, technically today, if and when I feel great about it. He then switched to a video diary, talking repeatedly about the singer over the course of several months. His obsession was creepy, but not dangerous. That is, until he found out about Bjork's relationship with Goldie, after which he got mad and built a letter bomb made with sulfuric acid. After mailing it to her, he went home and filmed his own suicide. This is the last few minutes of my life. Luckily for Bjork, his body was found along with the details about the bomb before the package could reach her. It's just kind of a sad thing, you know, obviously when somebody shoots their face off. You... Number five. Donette Knight, victims Catherine Zeta-Jones and Michael Douglas. I've got to see you. Well, I don't have the, um, uh, the documentation to answer that question right now, but I'll call you from the office. When Donette Knight developed an obsession with Fatal Attraction star Michael Douglas, his wife Catherine Zeta-Jones got caught in the crossfire. Knight sent a series of letters to Douglas claiming that she was his lover and eventually saying that she wanted to chop Zeta-Jones into chunks to feed to her dogs. <laughs> now that's a fatal attraction if ever there was one. Not surprisingly, Knight was ultimately charged with stalking and sentenced to three years in prison. Is mommy going to be all right? Mommy's gonna be fine, honey. She's gonna be fine. Number four, Paula Goodspeed. Victim, Paula Abdul. And where on earth could she have gotten the inspiration for this style? I really like Paula Abdul a lot. She's really cool. Born Sandra May McIntyre, Paula Goodspeed was so enamored with American Idol judge Paula Abdul that she legally changed her first name, tried to copy Abdul's style, and eventually auditioned for American Idol. Don't know what to say. Is it good or bad? <laughs> You know, um, nah, it's not a great thing. It's, well, it's not a good thing by being speechless. <laughs> this, this time, no. When Goodspeed was dismissed from the show, though, her obsession darkened. Over the next three years, Goodspeed repeatedly visited her and sent her over 100 letters. And then one day, Goodspeed parked her car outside Abdul's house and committed suicide by overdosing on prescription drugs. It was a sad case of fan worship gone wrong. I shed a lot of tears. I felt a tremendous, it was tumultuous. I mean, for, for me and, and, and living with security full time now, it's, it's just different, you know? Number three, Robert Dewey Hoskins, victim Madonna. Robert Dewey Hoskins nursed an obsession with Madonna for years and followed her all across California in the early 90s. He threatened that he would either marry her or, quote, slash her throat from ear to ear. 
Eventually, her bodyguards were forced to shoot him when he climbed over the fence of her house. Watching him go down, it happened very, very quickly. He survived the gunshots, was arrested, and was sentenced to 10 years in prison. But in 2012, he escaped from a mental institution and Madonna's safety was at risk again. Now he's in a mental health facility and he just walks out? Luckily, he was caught before he could approach the singer. Number two, Robert John Bardo, victim, Rebecca Schaefer. I asked him what was wrong, and he said that I had better arrest him now. And I asked him why and what for, and he said, I shot somebody. Robert John Bardo's obsession with Rebecca Schaefer is one of the darkest ones on our list. He obsessed over the young actress for three years in the 80s, writing her continuous fan mail and trying to break onto the set of her show, My Sister Sam. Hi, I'm Patty Russell and this is My Sister Sam. I just moved in. We haven't lived together since we were kids. He eventually hired a detective agency to find out where she lived and used the information to track her daily habits. In 1989, after being angered by a sex scene she did on the big screen, he visited her apartment twice in the same day. The first visit culminated in an autograph, but the second visit ended with Schaefer's death, as Bardo shot and killed her when she opened the door. Bardo pulls out a gun, points it directly at Rebecca Schaefer, and shoots her once in the chest. She collapses, screaming. This was certainly a terrible tragedy, but at least Bardo was quickly caught and sentenced to life in prison. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. So you're gonna stay away from Selena now? Well, of course, there's a restraining order now, isn't there? For the first time, we're hearing the chilling phone calls that outline in graphic detail a plan to kidnap and kill pop star Justin Bieber. Number one, John Hinckley Jr., victim, Jodie Foster. I'm a Libra too, that's why we get along so well. It was after watching her in Taxi Driver that John Hinckley Jr. decided to follow actress Jodie Foster when she started attending Yale University. So he made the move to Connecticut. He took it as far as enrolling in a writing class and slipping notes under the actress's door. I felt very shocked, very frightened, and um, very distracted. When she proved unresponsive, he decided that the only way to win Foster's love was to assassinate the then President of the United States, Jimmy Carter. When that failed, and after he was arrested on a firearms charge, Hinckley made an attempt on new President Ronald Reagan, whom he shot at six times outside a Washington, D.C. hotel. The president was badly wounded, but survived, and Hinckley was placed in a mental institution where he remains as of early 2016. Do you agree with our list? Which celebrity stalker story scares you the most? She was honestly scared to death. For more interesting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Then he's going to go take care of it. Take care of it, authorities say, means to murder and... We went and we bought some, uh, you know, the hedge clippers. Castrate mega pop star Justin Bieber.